Right now, two men presumed dangerous are on the run after escaping from the Tangible Parish Jail, and they've probably left the parish. They're two of four inmates who escaped without anyone knowing over the weekend. Thanks for joining us, everyone. I'm Sharice Gibson. Now, the other two escapees, they're back in custody, and the sheriff's office calls what happened a failure. Mike McDaniel joining us now live. He's outside the Tangible Parish Jail in Amy. This is where Mike probably some corrective steps are now being taken as the search is underway. Oh yeah, you can bet so. You, um, no one here at the jail even knew these inmates were gone until a tip came in Sunday afternoon alerting jail staff about this, that tip going to the warden. Because of a lack of oversight and deficiencies here at the jail, the sheriff's office is hoping some changes can be made quickly. I saw it on social media. When meeting Nakisha Hogan saw four inmates had escaped the Tangipahoa Parish Jail in a meet, she says safety came to mind. We don't know what they're capable of. They're out here alone. They're hungry. They're broke. They're desperate. They're scared. They're lost, most of all. Chief Jimmy Travis with the Tangipahoa Parish Sheriff's Office says the jail became aware of escapees after the warden got a call Sunday afternoon about 19-year-old Amarion Hookfin of Hammond and 20-year-old Jamarcus Cyprian of Amit, who had escaped that morning. That they had went to a relative's house in the middle of the night trying to find a place to stay. A headcount revealed they weren't the only two missing inmates. After looking through surveillance, Travis says 19-year-old Avery Gidry and 21-year-old Trayvon Johnson escaped the day before. Travis says all four got out the same way, starting with a corroded fence. They were able to break some wire open uh, on a chain link and was able to create a small gap. From there, Travis says they slid through a small gap under an outside wall and climbed over two razor wire fences. Their area for the final fence they were able to get over is lacking the amount of razor wire it should have. Travis says having four inmates on the run without anyone at the jail knowing is a failure. We had a failure within uh, that we hope to correct, uh, learn by our mistakes and move forward. Travis points to training and staffing issues and a need for better security as missteps in allowing the escapes to happen. He says the sheriff's office is working to correct all of it. Between uh, not properly watching, counting, and structural uh, issues, they were able to facilitate their escape. Monday morning, two of the escapees, Avery Gidry and Trayvon Johnson, were called hiding in a dumpster outside a dollar store in Hammond. Travis believes the other two have left the parish. This is not the first, second, or third time. Neighbors point to past escapes from the jail as ongoing issues within it. They just want to feel safe. I keep it well lit up over here with a high light bill, and I, and I have little kids that I try to, you know, make sure nothing don't happen to. As far as why these inmates were here in the first place, Cyprian is facing or he's serving time for armed robbery and weapons charges. The other three were brought here after being arrested for their connection to a 2022 deadly home invasion in Hammond. At this point, Chief Travis is unaware of any disciplinary actions being taken against any jail employees, but it's not off the table just yet. Authorities are looking into whether anyone on the outside or possibly inmates inside the jail helped facilitate these escapes. Live outside the Tangipahoa Parish Jail, Mike McDaniel, WWL, Louisiana. I'm sure it's just the beginning of that investigation, Mike. Thank you so much.